Hi everyone, it's Patty Barr again. This is the writing simulation, part of the disability simulation that we're doing for this course. And uh, for this, this, you're going to need to gather a few things. So number one, um, you could print out um, your picture of the star. You should have this in your files. So you're gonna wanna, wanna print that out. You're also gonna wanna get another sheet of paper and um, you're going to want to fold it in two and then you're going to want to put that over your hand so that you can't see your your hand um, and you're also going to gather a short pen or pencil and um, either a um, mirror or i've seen some people be able to use their phone so if you've got um, a phone that you can take Put it in uh, video mode or picture mode so that you what you're going to need to be able to do is to see your hand while you're writing okay so um, I'm going to just show you with the, the phone but what you're going to need to do is to to cover up your hand um, put your little pencil in there so don't cheat don't uh, have, have your your don't be able to see your hand and then only look at your your hand through the mirror and then what you're going to do is you're going to draw in between the lines of this star with just one stroke don't uh, lift your, your pencil up so in between all the way around okay so that's the idea with this one. So um, you can go ahead, go ahead and, and try that and see what you think. So while you gather those things, you might want to pause this video and then turn the video back on once you've got your star, your, your pencil, your, we call this kind of a turtle shell to cover up your hand and either a mirror or, um, or your phone that you can see your hand with, okay? So go ahead and pause until you get those things. Okay, you're all ready. So imagine that you're in third or fourth grade class and uh, you're doing an activity and I'm the teacher and you're gonna just um, go ahead and you know, do that activity and make sure that you stay within the lines. Um, you know, just go ahead and get started. So now once you're started, um, I'm just gonna, I, I would probably be walking around the classroom and I would just, um, you know, hey, you know, parent-teacher conferences are coming up and you're gonna want to, to be, make your parents proud. So make sure that you do your, your neat, uh, your best work. Um, you, you're, you're just, we're gonna put these up on the board. Um, so that everybody gets to see everybody's star and um, you're going to want your parents to see the best star that you can make. Okay. So now you might be having some difficulty and, um, you know, I might want to remind you that you're supposed to stay within, in, in between the lines. You're supposed to stay in between these two lines. So not out here, not in here but in between the lines. So make sure that you stay in between the lines and try to make those lines straight. And um, you know, there, there might be other people doing this along with you. You actually might wanna have somebody else do this with you. And um, you know, they might be doing this a little faster than you. So you, you might wanna um, hurry it up just a, just a touch and um, Oh yeah, uh, you're, you're not supposed to color in the, the star. You're supposed to just make a line all throughout the star. Um, and don't, don't pick up your pencil. Uh, make sure that you're, you're not you know, cheating and getting your hand outside that turtle shell. Make sure that turtle shell stays um, over top of your hand so that you're not seeing it. Um, So 
So you might want to pause the video again until you're done. And once you're done with your star, you might um, think about some of the things and you might put this in your discussion section. Um, you might want to think about you know, what it would be like for a student to um, write like this every day and what they might, how they might act in the classroom. Um, if they, you know, you just did this for a few minutes, but think about that student that, that writing is like this for them. Um, they might not ever, you know, you, you think about, um, if you can't actually write letters and, and actually make it legible, it might be difficult for somebody to teach someone to write, you know, compose. So there's a difference between physically writing and composing. But many times students that can't physically write um, have a difficult time um, or, or they're sometimes missed when it comes to composing. So think about that and uh, really discuss that in your discussion section. What might they feel like? What, um, what might they act like in the class? Um, would they be enthusiastic to do any writing activities? So um, I look forward to, to hearing your discussion.